welcome to my vlog. Nandito po. Pagtarong po. Uy, hindi na ito mag-vlog. Uy, kapoy nga nam. This record 18 wins, 1 loss, 3 bouts even. 7 wins coming by way of knockouts. Joining us from the gateway city of St. Louis, Missouri. Ranked number 5 in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger, Stefan Showstopper. Young. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the blue with the orange trim, weighing in officially at already 117 pounds. This four division world champion enters the ring with a record of 39 wins, 25 of those coming inside the distance against five losses. Fighting on Hotel Bon of Philippines. He is the reigning and defending WBA Bantamweight Champion of the World, the Filipino Flash, Nonita Donier. Once again, here to give instructions is Mark Nelson. Chief Second, please. Gentlemen, you received your instructions in the dressing room. You both know what I expect. A good, clean championship fight. Just obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. So there we see Stefan Young, who is looking to make his dreams come true tonight. Took this fight on three days' notice. His opponent, the Filipino Flash Nonito Donier, looking to advance to the final to take on the winner of Inouye and Rodriguez. And we are underway for this WBA Bantamweight Championship. Nonito Donier, Stefan Young, Ray Forrest, Kendall Gill joining you ringside. Tell you what, the thing for Dornier here is, is do you, if you don't take an opponent seriously, he then becomes serious. And that's the one thing that he has to avoid. I saw him in a couple, in the pre, in the pre fight interview, and he said, no, his mindset will not change. He will continue to look at this fight exactly the way that he approached the Tay Tay fight. Nice right hand to the body by Nonito Dornier. Stefan Young looking to make a Big jump up and capture a world title for the first time. This is the first time he has fought for gold, and they both exchanged nicely as 45 seconds has elapsed off the clock. But you can see the power right there with Nonito when he threw that left hook. He absolutely moved Young across the ring. When Nonito Donier has fought some high-level competition, Guillermo Rigondeau, Carl Frampton, Nicholas Walters as well handed a ninth round TKO victory to Victor Chinian, beat Jorge Arce as well. I mean, what a career for Donier that has spanned over 18 years. And still has that fire to continue to fight at this high level of price fighting. Yeah, and you can see what he's doing right now as a veteran. He's slowly cutting the ring off on Young. Also, when he gets close to him, using his straight, straight right hand, something that you're supposed to do against a southpaw, doing a great job so far, much like he did against Ryan Burnett in that fight. He started to walk him down, get his rhythm, and throw those power shots that he's known for. We'll see if Stefan Young, who was trained by Herman Casado, Casado actually trains quite a bit of quality fighters including Luis Ortiz but no jab coming out frequently for Stefan Young there we see the jab yeah, and that's what he has to do he has to throw something in order to keep Donaire off of him because right now Donaire is not respecting his power whatsoever he's just walking forward well Donaire is cutting off the ring nicely 
And there's the right hand, and Young tried to counter him, and Donier wisely showing his reflexes got out of the way. Absolutely, and, and that's great, responsible defense on Donier's part. As we near the final moments of our opening stanza here between Donier and Stefan Young. Round one in the books. Not world championship pedigree that you're starting to see in Dornier. Well, Dornier has been there, done that over and over and over again. And there is Alani Tete, who no doubt is watching with a close eye, wondering to see, hopefully he gets back sooner rather than later. This one is scheduled for 12. You know, one of the things that uh, Donaire said is that now that I have to readjust my training, what I did, I prepared for a guy that was two and a half inches taller than me. I prepared for a guy that had a four-inch reach advantage on me. Now I'm the taller fighter, and now I'm the guy with the reach. So he's facing a totally different fighter. I know they're both southpaws, but a totally different fighter than Tater. Well, but if there is a fighter or experience who can overcome that, it is someone of the ilk like Nonito Donier because of the fact that he's been there, done that over and over and over again. He's been in high-level situations for quite a while. A absolutely, and that's why he said it would be no problem. He said he just took a couple days to adjust to what was coming to Stefan Young, and you can see he's adjusted quite well. Whereas Stefan Young, as we talked about early in the broadcast, he is seems to be thinking more instead of reacting he's got to be more proactive instead of reacting yeah he's, he's actually holding his hands a little bit too much he needs to let his hands go in order to give donaire something to think about because right now donaire is not thinking about anything he's just coming right to him donaire doesn't seem to be in any danger whatsoever but young is very crafty very crafty and, and that left hand that he just threw that's what he has to do in order to keep donaire off of him and get that respect when St. Louis has been a home for, remember the likes of Corey Spinks, the Spinks family, Michael and Leon and Corey as well. Leon's son Corey won the welterweight championship as well. Young ranked number five by the WBA, 10 by the WBO. Only loss coming to Stefan Young's dossier was to 21-year-old Raymart Caballo considered a new star of Filipino boxing. He was down in the third. Under a minute left here in the second. Donaire coming forward, sends a right hand right behind the jab. And the one thing they have to realize, Donaire has not fought in his weight class since 2011 prior to the Ryan Burnett fight. And he was asked, you know, how does it feel to come back down to Benham? He says, well, it, it feels great because now I'm fighting guys my size. Well, and as you get older, there's a left hand that connected that Donier ran into. But as you get older, your body matures. And I think it goes to show how wise and, and the discipline that Donier has to be able to get back down to 118 after getting older. I mean, he's in his mid-30s now. Uh, absolutely. And I tell you what, from a guy who weighs about 225 pounds now, <laughs> it is hard to get back down to your player. Great combination by Stephen Young. Young having moments towards the end of the second. What you're supposed to do if you're a southpaw to a right-handed fighter. Nonito was not expecting that combination. Getting set for round number three. This one is scheduled for 12. Donier and Young. The winner. We'll move on to the final of the World Boxing Super Series Bantamweight Final. And Stefan Young as Donier charges ahead. And Young threw a left cross. And the one thing that I've noticed is that Donier is developing a mouse up underneath his left eye. So Stefan Young is doing some damage. That's something to keep note of, Kendall. A little bit of swelling underneath the left eye of Donito Donier. And another straight left that was partially blocked by Donier. Donier pushing the head down. Referee in charge, Mark Nelson, veteran referee who's been in many championship matchups as the referee. 
A right hook that connected, and Young seems to be finding his rhythm. We saw evidence of that in, in, towards the tail end of the second round, and now here to begin the third. Yeah, he's starting to feel more comfortable, and he's noticed he's not moving now. He's sitting more in the pocket. He's willing to trade with Donnell. Is that a smart thing? I don't think it is, but he's establishing his confidence. Well, he's also baiting Donier to come forward. And Donier needs to use head movement in order to keep himself not as easy of a target because Young is finding a home for that straight left as he just connected right there. Absolutely. Time after time, Donier has continued to come forward. And you, you're absolutely right, Ray. Without the head movement, he's an easy target. Once Another again. Another straight left that is finding its mark for Stefan Young, and for Young being 30 years of age, his confidence is starting to grow. With this being his first world title shot opportunity, there could be doubt in the mind. Now he's gaining confidence, and that could be extremely problematic for Donier. Yeah, that, that combination that he ended the second round with, I think, gave him a lot of confidence, the straight left one, then followed up with the right hook. He's like, hey, listen, man, I, I can hit him with things, so now why don't I just stay here and sit down and fight this man? Look, it's almost like when you are in the playoffs for the first time in the yeah, NBA yeah. and you're taking on the NBA champions like the Golden State Warriors and you're tied at the end of the first quarter, mentally you think, I can hang with this team and we can make a run at this thing. Yeah, you sure do. You do get that confidence. I was in the playoffs against the Chicago Bulls when Michael Jordan was in his prime. I'm sorry. I was I'm coming. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, know you, I know you're sorry, but we played them tough in game one. Unfortunately, they turned it on, which is something Donito <laughs> Denier could probably do at any point. Well, no question. It's still a very intriguing matchup here as Young is looking very good, at least in these past two rounds. Donier, though, looking to assert himself once again. Yeah. Good yep. Evan Flo. Actually, oh, there's a big right here. Right and, and that buzzed Young. And Young seems to be staggered for a brief moment. He's coming. He can't be there. He's got to get off those ropes. Round three. That's coming to a close. There's Herman Casado in the corner of Stefan Young. Also Chico Rivas as well. We will see Chico Rivas as the lead trainer coming up in our main event against with as he trains one Korea Relic. He needs that. He needs to find his rhythm. He needs to find his pace. All right? Let's have a little bit, a little bit more with that lead hand. All right? Don't wait on him. That right hand that Stephen Young was caught with bothered his left eye. He came back to his stool. You can see right here where Donaire throws a straight right hand. Well, there's Stephen oh, Young with Young. that straight left. Straight left. Did a great job. But here it is right here. Double jab. Followed up, blinds Boom. him, hits him with the left hand. He actually walked back to the corner, Stefan Young, that is, blinking with his left eye. So, got to look out for that. Might here. affect him in this round. Round four, this one is scheduled for 12. Stefan Young was lit up with that right hand, but it was set up, Kendall Howe, with a double jab. With, with a double jab, and that's where the experience comes into play. You know, as I, as I mentioned before, yeah, we thought we had confidence against the Chicago Bulls, and then they took it away from us, and that's exactly what Donaire did in that last round. And Stephon Young got confidence because he was landing shots, but Donaire just took everything away from him with that last combination. And in the fourth round, compared to the second and the third candle, Donaire has come forward and is pushing the issue more. He's going to try to make Stefan Young uncomfortable because Young got comfortable in the second and the third and got into a rhythm. Yeah, he, he got comfortable and he got confident. And that's something as great champions and, and, and elite fighters, they have to take that play away from you because you don't want your opponent to become dangerous. And with Nonito Donier, he realizes what is on the line. Both men realize the significance. Obviously, a world title is up for grabs, but also a berth to the final of the World Boxing Super Series Bantamweight Tournament. You can also see Donier is trying to feint and set Stephen Young up for something. Once again, nice uppercut. Hit him right in that left eye again. As we are... 50% of the way done of round number four. 
And Donier is looking to add in a left hook that connected. He's also trying to set up an uppercut, that being Onito Donier. Yeah, he's just walking Stephen Young down now, and, and it seems like he knows that he's hurt. You can see Stephen Young blinking at that left, that right eye is really bothering him at this point. And he's just, he just walking to Stephen Young because there's nothing coming back. When Stephon Young, his eyes have opened up considerably in the sense that he is really thinking and trying to observe and get away from the big punches of Nonito Donier. Nonito Donier with a 57% knockout percentage has 271 rounds entering this matchup. And you can see Donier, he's not even worried about the power of Stefan Young coming back. He's just walking forward, willing to take one to give one at this point. Don't hold. Mark Nelson warning about to tell the fighters not to hold. Now blood coming from the nostrils of Stefan Young. So now he is starting to show some of the effects of those right hands from Nonito Donier. Stop! Don't, don't punch! Don't grab him like that. Obey the bell here, guys. Stefan Young going back to the corner, and he has some work to do. You can see him walking forward, boom, throwing that uppercut, coming right between the gloves. He knows that Stefan Young is one, has the earmuffs on and leaning forward, which sets him up perfectly for that left uppercut right there. And he landed right on the button, didn't Onito Donier. And there's Stefan Young answering back though, but Donier threw that right hand over the top. Yeah, and he counters him, and, that, and that's exactly what champions do. He tried to catch it and shoot, but he wasn't able to catch it, but the shoot worked because he came right over the top of that shot, Donaire. <laughs> Round five, this one is scheduled for 12. Nonito Donier. Stefan Young, Donier, the champion, having beat Ryan Burnett by fourth round TKO because Burnett could not continue. And Donier starting off and going right to the body of Stefan Young to start the fifth round. Yeah, and you see when he came out in the fifth round and he's straight right hands, he threw two in a row, and it looks like he's just going to try to go after Stefan Young at this point and try to finish him. That That's the attitude that he has at this point. Well, Stefan Young, who showed glimpses in the second and the third, now he realizes he is in some deep waters. The question is, can he survive and keep himself afloat against Donier? And that's, what, and that's what he has to do right there. He has to stand his ground at some point and not let Nonito continue to come forward and pot shot him. Well, Donier... He's using his jab to get on the inside, and then he whacks him with the right hand. There's a jab followed by a right for Donier. You know, he's trying to make a stand, and he's scoring, but it seems like it's just not enough. He doesn't have enough pop for Nonito Donier to respect him, because Nonito Donier continues to walk forward. When he has... A good defense does Donier. He is an uppercut. That backed up and snapped the head back to Young. I think Donier knows that he has Young hurt. Yeah, he does. He's, he's sensing a, a wounded prey right now, and that's why he's continuing to turn it on. And also, Kendall, oh, there's oh, a nice big counter shot. shot. Young sat down in his punch, and he landed, and he connected with a straight left. Yeah, this is something that he has to do to make Nonito respect him. Well, if you cannot count out Stefan Young and take a look at the punch stat numbers, overwhelming for Nonito Donier. And there's an uppercut by Nonito Donier under a minute left here in round number five.
Listen, you got to give it to Stefan Young, though. Three days' notice, he takes this fight. He's fighting a four-time world champion, <laughs> and he's coming out, and he's giving it his all. You cannot question the heart of Stefan Young, and there's a right hand backing up Young. And Donier aiming to put Young with his back on the ropes. If you're Young, he's got to get out. He needs to stay in the center of that ring. Absolutely. He cannot get on the ropes whatsoever. That's exactly where Donaire wants you. As he's backing him up to the ropes again. That's exactly how he started to punish Ryan Burnett in his previous fight. Nice shot by Young. As we near the end of the fifth between Nonito Donaire and Stefan Young. into Donaire's uppercut. Donaire knows that uh, shot is there, but you see Stephen Young right there going to the ropes, trying to throw that straight left hand. That's the one thing that Donaire has to be careful about. He can't walk in without his defense. Well, I think there's a point, Kendall, as we begin the sixth round, that Donaire takes risks because he knows he can, and he will absorb a shot just so that he can get Young comfortable to sit in the pocket more, and then he can throw the combinations and blast away on him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that, that strategy, that's championship pedigree. Uh, Nomito knows what he's doing. 36 years old, four-time world champion, so he knows all the tricks of the trade. And you know what is startling more than anything, Kendall, is guys in the lighter weight classes, I'm talking about 30 on down, when you are 30 years of age, you're considered an old man. Right. An old man. <laughs> That's true. And the fact that Donier is 36 years of age, fighting here at 118, a world champion at 18, right. that is very, that, it's almost unprecedented in many ways. It, it's unprecedented because you look at him, he still has the reflexes, he still has the speed, he still has the legs, he still has the power. That's what's so, so, so surprising at these lower weight classes. 36 years old, most guys don't have all of that left. But Nonito Donaire does. Now, I'm not going to lie to the audience and say that Nonito Donaire has the flash that he did when he was 22. Right. But he has gotten smarter placement of his punches. He's economical when he throws. Everything is calculated. And there's a reason for why he does what he does. Exactly. And, uh, you know, rather than being the Filipino flash, he's more like the Filipino thunder. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> At I this like point. <laughs> well, we'll see if... Donier has certainly been throwing quite a bit of thunder. There's a nice combination for Stefan Young, something that has been absent from his repertoire since the third round. You know, you, you got to give it to Stefan Young. Listen, he, he he's fighting down. He knows that he's down in this fight. He knows that he's outgunned, but he's biting down, sitting down, and trading shots. Once again, as you can see him connecting right there with Donier. Well, Donier cannot get too comfortable because... Young certainly has quite a bit of pop on the punches, and you know, Kendall, having been inside the ring, the punches that are the most dangerous are those in which you do not see. The ones that you do not see will debilitate you, and, you know, that's why Stefan Young has to be careful of that uppercut when he puts the earmuffs on, because you can't see that shot coming. And there are not many guys who have physical attributes, and a guy that had earmuff defense was that, and you mentioned him earlier, Winky Wright. Winky Wright there are yeah. not many guys that have those long of arms and biceps to be able to evade. And oh. there's a big up Down goes Young on a thunderous left hook. And that is the vaunted power that we're talking about. Nonito Denaire at this weight class, 118 pounds. Everybody better watch out. Good night, Stefan yeah, Young. Nonito Donier decapitating Young. Wow, what a left hook. Oh, my goodness. And now we await, we hope that Young is okay. He's moving. Just yeah. the doctor. But what a thunderous one-punch knockout from Nonito Donier. And, and I, I can tell you guys, Nonito Donier, what a gentleman. He's sitting there. He knows that was a, that was a shot that could change a fighter's career at that point. The, the shot that he was hit with. And Nonito Donier showing concern for his opponent. What a gentleman. But listen. You, you got to give it to Stefan Young. He came out here on three days' notice and fought hard. Unfortunately, it ended up like this for him. Talk about a candidate for knockout of the year here in 2019. Oh, my goodness. It was, it was unbelievable. I mean, it came out of nowhere. But once again, 
we talk about his power at 118. Yeah, he, he carried some power up to 122 and 126, but when he comes back to a lower weight class at 118, you're looking at a guy that probably has the most power in this division. As you can see right here, he comes back with the level. Bam! Boom! Hit him right on the chin. And that Good was it. Night. See ya. I tell you what, he probably he could have he could have knocked out a racehorse with that left hook. Look, and Stefan Young left his chin in the air, waited too long, boom! Sure did. Night night. In the fundamentals, he did not have his right hand up. A lot of that has to do with fatigue. But you can see right here, Nonito Denaire sees the open shot. Boom! He was unconscious going to the canvas. He was, he was, he was he unconscious before his back smacked and then bang. You never want to see that, and thankfully he's okay.